as we mentioned, former supermodel Janice Dickinson now also saying she was a victim of Bill Cosby. Here she is on Entertainment Tonight talking about an incident in 1982. In my room, he had given me wine and a pill and the next morning I woke up and I wasn't wearing my pajamas and, and I remember before I passed out that I had been uh, sexually assaulted by this man. The last thing I remember was Bill Cosby uh, in a patchwork robe, topping his robe and getting on top. Joining us now is ET co-host Kevin Frazier. Kevin, you made a reference to a pill she says he gave her and asked if he knew she'd been in treatment for chemical dependency. What did she say to that? Uh, she said that, you know, she was having cramps, actually, and she asked for a pill, and she got the pill, and then she'd already been given wine. So it's very interesting that she had just come out of rehab. Mr. Cosby, according to Janice, actually called her while she was in rehab, and then found her in Bali and told her to get to Tahoe for a meeting. Um, she said she remembers being groggy and watching him take that robe off. And she described it very graphically to me when we first sat down. And so um, you listen to these stories because I talked to Miss Parsons the day before. The stories are eerily similar. Yeah. And that's what kind of, that's what gets you when you listen to how the stories are the same because you know, both these women were women who struggled with alcohol abuse and, right. and other and, substance abuse. And, Kevin, you know, Janice has been very open about having been a, a sexual abuse survivor, and so she makes a good victim. I mean, she understands that that's, you know, victims are re-victimized by people who can sense that about them, which is a crazy thing about humans. Now, Kevin also asked Janice whether she'd ever told anyone about this alleged attack. Take a look at this. I can't remember that. I don't want to implicate anyone because Bill Cosby is a very powerful man. How did this incident what happened, affect you? This is one of the biggest regrets and resentments throughout the course of my life. I've compartmentalized the memory. You know, uh, Kevin, I, I, I know Janice very well, and she does do that kind of compartmentalizing, but why, why did she say she was coming forward now? She said that she actually tried to write about it back in uh, 2000, I want to say 2005 in her, or 2006 in her book, and that Mr. Cosby's lawyer stopped her from writing about it back then. Wow. And so now she felt that there was strength because of the other women coming forward, and she felt like she could talk about it now. But it's something that she is not hidden from and that she has wanted to talk about and has mentioned at different times before. Hey, Kevin, Samantha here. Did, did she hey, mention, hi, did she mention to you that she ever confronted Bill Cosby? And if so, how did he react to her? She said she did not confront Bill Cosby, that he had, in this incident, he had purchased a first class ticket from Bali to Tahoe. She got there. After the incident happened, she woke up. He had purchased her a first class ticket to New York. She said, she got up and she said, I have to go now. I have to go home, and she got on the plane and went home to New York. Just like Miss Tarsus, she said she was so embarrassed and humiliated, and she felt like she was, in a sense, stupid for letting this happen. Yeah, and you will hear that. There we it's go. Another, it's something that the other victims have said in their. Well, and that's the way they people felt, that have been victimized uh, just, you know, if they rationalize what has happened, they feel responsible for having made it happen. Kevin, buddy, thank you so much. We'll look for the full interview tonight on Entertainment Tonight.